This video shows you how to replace the gearbox on the Hyper Edition of the 3Pi Plus 32U4 robot. You will need a 1.5mm or 000 Phillips head screwdriver to do this. You might also need something to help you pry the wheel off. I have these tweezers to do that, but a thin flathead screwdriver might also work. First, remove the batteries from the 3Pi Plus. It's good practice to always remove power from your electronics while you work on them so that you don't damage them while you make or remove connections. We aren't doing any electrical work here, but we still don't want to risk the robot turning on and trying to run away while we perform our little robot surgery, and we don't want to risk accidentally shorting something with one of our tools. Next, remove the LCD so it's out of the way and doesn't get damaged while you work. On the bottom of the chassis, locate the clips on each side of the battery compartment. Use your index fingers to gently pry these open while pushing the battery compartment with your thumbs. Now you can clearly see the motor gearboxes. Note the two possible orientations of the gearboxes. I'm going to refer to the way the one on the left is as the gears up orientation, and the one on the right as the gears down orientation. Your robot might look like this one when you open it up, or it might have both gearboxes one way or the other. The gears down orientation is a little more difficult to get out, so I'm going to remove this one for the video. First, we have to get the wheel off. Slide your prying tool between the gearbox and the wheel and use it as a lever to slide the wheel off the gearbox shaft. I've already done this a few times on this wheel, so it's sliding off fairly easily, but the first time you do it might not go as smoothly. Just keep working your way from one side of the wheel to the other and eventually it will start to slide up. Next, remove the two screws attaching the gearbox to the motor. Be careful here not to strip the screw heads. The gearbox is kept in place with some motor retention fillets in the motor channel. You have to lift the edges of the gearbox above these fillets before you can pull it out of the channel. Using the gearbox shaft, Wiggle the gearbox up and down until you get the edges of the gearbox out of those retention fillets. This is more difficult when the gearbox is in this orientation, but it will come out eventually. Now you can put the new gearbox in by essentially reversing the movements you just did to get the old one out. Put the new gearbox in in the gears up orientation since it's easier to get it in that way. Once it's in, insert the screws and lightly tighten them. Now put the wheel back on by placing the wheel on a hard surface and pressing the gearbox shaft into the wheel until it contacts the surface. Install the bumper skirt by pushing the clips on each side over the motor housings until they snap into place. Plug in the LCD making sure all the pins are aligned and that it's in the proper orientation. It should cover the buzzer when it's installed the correct way around. Now you can put in the batteries and make sure your new gearbox works. I have our demo program running on this 3Pi Plus, so I can use it to test that the motor goes back and forth. If you would like to use this program too, you can find it in the 3Pi Plus example code included with the Pololu 3Pi Plus 32U4 Arduino library.